Good morning this Thursday morning. Glad you could join us. Hope you're well and uh, I hope you're ready for another few moments in the Word of God. An unusual little book we don't often look at, Philemon, but some really interesting lessons about fellowship here in this lovely little book. So let's pray and see what the Lord has for us this morning. Lord, thank you that we never run out of your supply of grace and help for each day and lord we, we come to you this morning we uh, each day we, we recognize very much we need you we need your your word in our ears our hearts lord and we uh, we thank you that we have this opportunity to take a few moments to uh, to focus our lives towards you so that we can live for you today so help us i pray in jesus name amen Okay, we're in this book of Philemon, and I hope you've got the idea by now. Philemon, he's a, perhaps a quite a well-to-do guy with a, a church meets in his home, and this and Paul is writing to him about this dear man, Onesimus. I don't think I said earlier in the week, Onesimus, there's a bit of play on words. Onesimus, it, it kind of, it, it, this sounds really bad, but it, it, his name, in, literally in Greek, means something like um, useful. Now, if I mean, it, it's, it doesn't sound good as a bit, but as a slave, that may have been the name that he was given. I don't know, but it, there's a play on words here of this dear slave who had probably done um, uh, Philemon wrong, probably stolen from him. And uh, in verse 11, we read, formerly he was useless to you. Oh, dear. But now he's become useful to both of us. Play on words with, with his name. Um, and then we, we, we were in verse 12. I'm sending him who is my very heart. <laughs> oh, this is so good. The, the great apostle Paul and this slave who's just given his life to Jesus. Uh, my very heart. That's what Christian fellowship does. It, jo it joins us together. It doesn't matter our backgrounds, our, 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 our social status or whatever. I'm sending him back to you he, because he wants to restore fellowship where fellowship had been broken i would have liked to keep him with me so he could take your place in helping me while i'm in chains for the gospel i'd love to keep him here he's serving me i wonder what he was doing in serving paul me i mean you know he, he wouldn't have been given food in prison so uh, people would have to bring it in for him I, so this dear man he's serving paul while he's in prison but uh, verse 14 but i did not want to do anything without your consent so I didn't want to keep him if he, because he's, he's actually he, he's your man. So that any favour you do would not seem forced but voluntary. Perhaps the reason he was separated from you for a little while was that you might have him back forever. No longer as a slave, but better than a slave, as a dear brother. Isn't, the, isn't this precious? The gospel does beautiful things in our lives, doesn't it? Um, I'm thinking of a very old song, Bind Us Together, Lord. Bind Us Together. I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> Bind Us Together. Uh, the, the, you know, the joy of Christian fellowship, but, uh, it, it's precious. It's real. It, you know, um, a dear brother, he is very dear to me, but even dearer to you, both as a fellow man and a brother in the Lord. It's, oh, I, it's, it's precious. Oh, God, give us that level of relationship in our church family. Please, please. So if you consider me a partner, welcome him as you would welcome me. If he's done you any wrong or owes you anything, charge it to me. I, Paul, I'm writing this with my own hand. Sometimes he used a scribe to help him and He's, 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 he's getting really personal now and, he's, and writing very personal. I will pay it back. <laughs> oh. When you've been forgiven much, it's not difficult to, to become generous because you've received from the generosity of the Lord. And, and so, yeah, it's, it, it should be a, a reflex of ours to be generous. I will pay it back. And then there's a funny little line here, not to mention you owe me your very self, actually, you know, I led you to the Lord, but uh, that, that's by the by. Uh, it, it, it's precious, isn't it? I will pay it back, not to mention that you owe me your very self. I do wish, brother, that I may have some benefit from you in the Lord. 
refresh my heart in Christ. This is, as I say, the heart of fellowship. Paul has stayed in his home um, in very practical ways. Philemon had refreshed Paul on his journeys, on his travels. And we may not have the same opportunity to, to you know, in, our, our days are different. Um, but when Paul went from place to place, uh, it, it, he, he was reliant on people opening their homes. And uh, Philemon obviously did that for Paul. Um, and, I, you know, we, we need to look for it in, in what's the equivalent in our context. What's the equivalent for us? It's reaching out to one another, looking for opportunities, how we can open our lives to one another, how we can encourage, support one another, those who are going through difficult times. Uh, can I cook a meal for you? Uh, people who are going through difficult moments, how can we bless them, maybe, maybe financially, whatever. There's, we, we, we look for these opportunities to to, 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 to be the body of Christ. And, and as we do that, it's, it's as though the grace of God flows through the body, you know, as, as one reaches out to another, it's as though the grace of God flows out through one to another. And it is precious. And, and that's why we want to look for opportunities to extend fellowship to one another, because it, it makes the church grow. It's not just a nice thing to do. This is the dynamic of growth in the body of Christ as the body begins to work and we reach to, out to one another and the grace of God flows through uh, our words of, of encouragement, our actions of kindness and generosity, our opening of our homes. The grace of God flows through those things and the church um, comes more and more alive. And, you know, as we're coming out of COVID, Lord, may, may that be true of us. May, 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 may the body of Christ really um, become more uh, active and stronger than, than, than ever as we reach out to one another, as we look for opportunities for expressing fellowship this going together, our love for one another, our care for one another, uh, our concern for one another um, in a way that will really glorify the Lord Jesus. And I, I want to pray for us today as we, as we go about our days that, that we'll be looking for those, mo those little opportunities. Lord, would you show me? How, how can I uh, reach out the hand of fellowship? How can I... Uh, it may be, maybe no one apart from you will ever will ever know that what, what I've done. That, that and that's in one sense even more beautiful. Um, hidden acts of grace and kindness in the body of Christ is, is absolutely beautiful. And and Lord, we we want that for ourselves. By nature, we can be pretty selfish. But Lord, thank you that. Uh, We've, we, we've come to a place of fellowshipping with you. That, that's our lives now. We do our life, our life. We do life with you. We fellowship with you. We have the fellowship of the Holy Spirit as we go through today. And I pray, Lord, that you'll speak to us, you'll show us, you'll give us a nudge where we can be involved in this wonderful process of koinonia. And that through little acts and words, the grace of God, that the beautiful grace of God will will flow uh, more strongly around your your body, the church, your family. So Lord, I pray, go with us. Give us eyes to see what you see. Give it, and, and, and nudge us, Lord, where we can reach out and be a blessing to others. So Lord, I, we commit our day to you. Go with us. Use us for your glory, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, this is, the, this is the first. I finished slightly early. Tomorrow we're going to be finishing on Philemon and I'll be sharing where we're going next. So uh, if you want to know where we're going next, join us tomorrow morning and I'll tell you. Meanwhile, have a great day and uh, God bless. Bye now.